Holy smokes. Two more wins away from the playoffs. Can we do it with my boy Tyler Huntley? You guys see my top three. That Mike Haynes was an awesome pull. Honestly, unexpected. You guys see the record, though. It isn't far away. This is not impossible. You guys see, you got Joe Montana at QB wearing the Browns uniforms. Ugh, that's just disgusting. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Really appreciate that. And this season, man, Tyler Huntley, it's been a journey. And as I'm saying that, look at my left tackle just getting bullied on my first possession. Already starting off so bad. Who is that right there, man? Looking like Miles Garrett. But the first drive is not good at all. Huntley just gets completely blindsided. I honestly got blindsided on that play. But you know what? Look at this play right here, man. EA has there's moments where there's kind of bad. But then there's moments like this where the back pedal, the break, the interception was just honestly spot on on that zone coverage. Now, usually my cornerback, Xavier Howard, that I have there, usually he plays on the other side. But that Mike Haynes pool really, really helped me out because Byron Jones... He was okay, but he never really did a lot of plays. He, it was okay, to say the least. A couple pass breakups, but nonetheless, didn't really get any turnovers. On the fourth down, though, look at this crucial catch by Waddle, man. And as I'm saying that, I noticed that I was in a playoff game. So this is my opponent's playoff game, so we got to play top-notch. But that's the mindset every game in Edmonds, man. I'm definitely going to get a new running back in the new season. And a new quarterback, but in the meantime, this is still Hun <laughs> this is still Tyler Huntley's season, so we're definitely not shying away from him. And man, I, I, you know what? I have a little bit of a preview, or not a preview, but a guess of who I'm gonna get. It starts with a Brux. <laughs> I'm just playing. Now I ain't gonna say that. But right here on a second and go, Mike Zicky ends up getting the touchdown, end up getting the lead as well. So that's definitely something, man. Montana, does he have what he had with the 49ers? Does my opponent play good? And check out Xavier Howard once again. Just truly showing why he is a pro bowler. Even though, wait, did he make the pro bowl? I think he did. I mean, he was one of the only few Dolphin players that made the pro bowl. So let's get it. Xavier Howard just making a good play there. We need every turnover that's possible. And we got to score on every possession as well. That's one thing you got to know. On a third down right here, let's play safe. We hit Tyreek Hill. And Hill hasn't really been a big factor on my offense. But it's really hard when you got Mike Evans and Jimmy Graham playing cornerback, right? With these 99 jump, 99 speed, whatever it is. It's so hard. I mean, sometimes you just got to be careful. It's almost as if think of it like a line in the middle. If you throw the ball, if it hits that line, it's going to get picked off. That's what it is. And as I'm saying that, look at my boy. Ends up getting some pressure. I think that was Elvin, or Melvin Ingram. Let's get it. Definitely a new addition to the team with the Miami squad, of course, in real life. Fourth down, though, Joe Montana ends up going for it. And, of course, he ends up getting the first down. And I forgot to mention, man, my opponent got Vita Villa at running back. Now, he already was. I played him last season or last episode, so he didn't get too much going. And check out that touchdown. I think that's Johnson. Man, that's a crucial play right there. Montana had to make a throw right here before the end of the first half, of course. But wait, there's more. Montana going for the two-point conversion, an unnecessary play, and Mike Haynes ends up getting the stop. Man, I can only imagine if I had like 90, 98s, 99s on every other position. But I'm not even complaining. I don't care about that. All I know is you got to keep going in, heads in, head first. You, get the, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. That's how I feel with my team. And my team, almost every position that I got, it just fits my scheme. And as I'm saying that, look at this, man. Look at Jerome Baker. Baker's one of my favorite middle linebackers in the game. I'm not just being biased, but he has good speed. Zone coverage is there. What more could you ask for on that zone, on that linebacker? And Joe Montana snaps it. Vita Villa. We have to go for the legs with him. And as I'm saying that, you guess it. Jerome Baker, man, ends up getting the tackle for a loss, of course. But Montana ain't scared. He ain't scared of nothing on a fourth and go. Montana rolls out. The season is almost on the line. Not really, but we end up getting an interception. The X Factor, the Xavier Howard. Three interceptions in this game, man. Let's go. Shut down. The, that's the best as the best. I don't even run really trick plays or anything or any cheese plays. It's more along the lines of, hey, you play the zone, you play it. And that's all that matters. But at this point of the season, or this game, should I say, all we have to do is play smart. And I always say that. And check out the clock. Wasted timeouts. 
Let's pull out with the W. Let's get out of here. Let's leave Believeland with the W. Right? Third and four, though. Check this out. Huntley snaps it. Rolls out. And this is one of the most crucial plays because after this first down, guess what? They ain't got no more timeouts. So, just like that, we end up pulling the W. We're 6-2. and two. One more win away from the playoffs. Tyler Huntley, let's get it, man. Divisional, we wiped my opponent out of his playoffs. Not intended. He just happened to get matched up with us. And, hey, we end up getting the W. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Leave a like once again and subscribe if you haven't. And, as always, peace out. Have a good one.